Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Thank you for coming back to another episode of Scattered Brilliancy. My name is Travis, and I'm going to try my best not to be too long-winded. So, uh, usually every day I'll get on Yahoo and I'll, you know, just kind of peruse the different articles that they have about different topics. And one today caught my eye, and I was like, ooh, I think I need to make a video about this. And the article was about a woman named Monetta Shaw. Now, Monetta Shaw is the ex fiance of the R&B singer Neo. And the the title has, like, said something to the effect of... Um, I got my tube signed and he got pregnant. He got somebody else pregnant. Something like that. So this is how the story went between Monetta and Neo. Uh, Monetta was on or is on Atlanta X's, but I don't watch that show. So her and Neo met around 2009 or 2010, something like that. And, you know, they got together, fell for each other hard and fast, all that kind of stuff. Um, they ended up having their first child in like 2010 or something. Then they got engaged and then they had their second child. Um, they both came to the mutual decision that they did not want any more children and that they felt like their families were complete. So she decided that she was going to get her tubes tied. I guess a hysteric hysterectomy is the official term. No, not tubes tied, tubes burned. Are your tubes being burned and tied to different things? Y'all let me know in the comments. But she did the burning part. Let me know. And he was supposed to get a vasectomy so that neither one of them could have children anymore. And needless to say, he didn't get the vasectomy. So fast forward now, five years later, 2016, um, Neo is married to a model or Instagram model, something like that, whom he got pregnant and whom he has, whom, whom he has another child with now. And Mangetta was just pretty much saying that the decision to get her tubes tied with him was one of the one of her biggest regrets in her life. And I felt like that's really a learning moment, if nothing else, because to me. And I'll preface and say, of course, I don't know any of these people. And everything that I say is just all my thoughts and how I view the world and how I've always kind of viewed marriage and relationships and sex and love and all of that kind of stuff. To me, it was like she got a commitment, a lifetime commitment in a situation that did not have a strong foundational commitment, if that makes any sense. You know, getting your tubes tied, getting a vasectomy, like that's serious stuff. Like you really have to think that through. And decide that that's something that you really want to do. But I but I understand, you know, getting to a point where you have so many kids that you don't want anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody's trying to be the Duggars out here in this piece and be like 20 kids and counting. You know, I understand that that's not everybody's preference. So, you know, after two, you may feel like all I want is two. I got to tie that thing on up and you're going to do it. OK, cool. I'm going to do it. And, you know, I get I get it. It makes total sense to me. The part that I disagree with that I would have never done is. I said in another video, I've taken everything I need. I've taken all the precautions necessary to not have children outside of marriage because that's something that I knew that I always, I never wanted. So as far as the situation is concerned, I'm just speaking from my point of view. So it's no judgment because, you know, this is their life, but this is just talking about me. You have to understand that when you give up a certain part of you without the reciprocation of getting that same thing in return that you... You're more susceptible to be heartbroken, to be broke, to be down the dubs, and to just be like walked all over. I, I don't think that personally, I don't think that having children outside of marriage is the best option. Now, is divorce a real thing? Definitely. Couples break up all the time. They get divorced all the time. But I don't know. I guess just something inside of me feels like me being married to you feels like I have a larger commitment to you than you just being my girlfriend. And I guess at some point in time, that's really what it was. You know, I guess maybe 50, 60 years ago, that's really what it was. And that's what it stood for. A marriage meant something serious and something deep. But, you know, now marriage is not really taken that seriously. So, you know, I get people saying, you know, you can leave and you can always leave and divorce is a thing. And, you know, relationships, marriages end for different reasons. But I just don't think it's a smart thing to have children with someone when you're not married. Now, you know, I get people have accidents. People want to experience that sex without protection. I get it. But they made it to the second child and still were not married. And so like, that's the kind of, that's the thing that I don't get. Like, okay, your first one is maybe not a oop because some people don't consider, consider children mistakes, but your first one was like, oh my gosh, you know, we got pregnant, you know, okay, let's, you know, chill out. Let's do the right thing until we get married. And then we'll go from there. Another point in all of this is you need to be aware of the kind of person that you are dealing with. Um, I don't know Neo personally. I don't know Mangetta personally. But this all just seems like typical 
f boy behavior if you know what i'm if you know what i'm saying to to tell a girl we're going to get procedures done so that we can't have any more children and you not do it and you not uphold your end of the bargain is definitely f boy behavior and really makes me question his character because it's not even so much of the fact that, you know, they didn't make it and they didn't work and he went out and got somebody else pregnant and everything. The thing is, if you would have honored the commitment that I was going to get my tubes tied and you were going to get a vasectomy, that that other stuff wouldn't have made a difference because if we didn't make it, we didn't make it. But to me, I, I'm trying to get my words together because they're all over the place. You're engaged to somebody to make the commitment of marriage, to having to hold, to death do us part, yada, yada, yada. But... You couldn't even uphold the commitment of getting a vasectomy. And she just, I think I read that she just assumed that he got it. So did y'all, did you not go with, he not go with you to get yours done? Why would you not ask and make sure that the person got, got it done? Especially because in the article, she makes it seem like after the first child, they started to become like a little more distant. Yeah, she said after the first child, they started to become a little more distant. She got pregnant with the second and he wasn't really around, but he was there for the birth. So if anything, if you know how he was acting up into like leading up to the birth of the second child, why wouldn't you like check into it and be like, hey, did you make sure you got your vasectomy done and all that kind of stuff? I mean, it's all like a trust thing, you know, and ladies, y'all got to really understand you got to make better choices. You got to make better choices. You have to because and you have to be mindful not to make. Lifetime decisions and temporary situations because nothing is worse than choosing something that's going to affect your entire life when you're in a moment of discomfort and a moment of not really sure what tomorrow brings. But I think that the, the, the key word and all that is, is some moment, you know, I don't know. I thought I was going to have a whole lot more to say about this, but I don't. And I guess more or less, I just wanted to get y'all's thoughts on it and your views on the whole situation because to me it's it's sad definitely sad but i don't know i just i'd be i'd be looking at it like well i mean you know you didn't marry me you had kids by somebody you weren't married so you know you kind of you were at risk but and but i know that you're at risk for um you're at risk for a person that you're married to leaving you and and i'm pretty sure people could play devil devil's advocate with me you know all day every day and i can play devil's advocate with myself but my thing is, like, if you take your time and get to know somebody and get to know their character and get to know the things that they want and the, the paths that they want to go and make sure that y'all are both on the same page, in the same chapter, in the same book, you know, and ha same, have the same morals and values, you know, all of that kind of stuff makes a difference. And I don't have all the details. I'm just speaking about what I read. But it's, it's unfortunate. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I, I really thought I was going to say more, but I really ain't got nothing left because this is my fifth time trying to record this video. Fifth. Um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation and how you feel like you might have handled it if you were on the other end and find out that the person that you were with who said they didn't want any more children ended up having a child with somebody else after you've gotten a procedure done to make it so you can't have any more children. You know, because now even if she finds the one or the, the one for now, she she can't have children, can she? Is it tubes burned and tied to different things? Like if they tie, can you get them untied? But it, I guess if you're burned, like they're just gone, right? I don't know. Y'all let me know. I, I, I'm not a... Like OBGYN. I'm not I'm not a gynecologist. Um, y'all rate, comment, like, and subscribe, and y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.